I would agree that low-budget cars produced in China are still plagued by cheap materials and poor quality. But when it comes to highly technological electric vehicles, the Chinese are actually giving well-established international car makers a run for their money. In this episode, we'll cover the newest electric cars that originate from the People's Republic and possess surprisingly competitive specifications. Subscribe to Automotive Territory and support the electric revolution no matter who leads the charge. Enjoy the ride! Zikr 001 Despite the initial reveal under the Lincoln Co name, instead the sole electric sedan was destined to launch Geely's new brand Zikr that will specialize exclusively in premium battery electric vehicles. The 001 is the world's first mass-market electric shooting brake that aims to end the era of boring-looking EVs. It boasts a brave front fascia, claw-like headlight signature, full-width LED taillights, and a Porsche Panamera profile. Built on the dedicated C electric platform with modular design, the model will offer several powertrain options. The flagship dual-motor all-wheel drive makes 536 horsepower and 516 pound-feet. It is paired with a 100 kWh battery with 800 volt architecture that promises 308 miles of range and is rechargeable at 360 kW. The cabin has a large central screen infotainment, a digital dashboard, leather interior, and over 2,000 liters of cargo volume. Xpeng P5 This compact sedan is the smallest model from Xiaopeng Motors. But according to the company, it is also the most sophisticated production car on the market in terms of autonomous driving tech. Instead of relying solely on cameras, the CV puts to work a broad array of sensors. The new architecture of the X-Pilot 3.5 utilizes 12 ultrasonic sensors, 5mm wave radars, 13 high-definition cameras, one high-precision positioning unit, and two automotive-grade lidars that can distinguish nearly all participants of the road traffic. At this time, the EV credentials of the P5 remain unconfirmed. But as its larger P7 sibling, it is rumored to offer both rear and all-wheel drive configurations with three battery options. Its exterior has an attractive fastback profile, while the minimalistic cabin relies on two large displays with a new generation XSmart 3.0 operation system. MG Marvel R Electric With attractive exterior design, smart cabin, lots of cargo space and up to 1,650 pounds towing capacity, the new Marvel RC segment crossover starts its takeover of the European market. The model is already available for pre-order in three trims and two drivetrain configurations. The entry-level one gets a rear-wheel drive system where two motors power the rear axle and produce 180 horses. The all-wheel drive model adds a third motor to the front axle, raising the output to 288 HP and 490 pound-feet. Both get a 70 kWh battery pack with 220 or 205 miles. The Marvel R debuts new MG styling inside and out. It gets an X-shaped front, slim LED light belt, and C-shaped headlamps. The cabin is minimalistic, and it packs standard two-zone climate control, eight-speaker audio, 12.3-inch digital cluster, and a 19-inch touchscreen with the MG iSmart connectivity. Human Horizons Hi-Fi X What had initially looked as yet another concept TV only to back up investor pitches was actually turned into a production-ready electric SUV for the emerging tech lock segment. The young startup Human Horizons has begun deliveries of the Hi-Fi X luxury six-seater without abandoning its superintelligence and unique design, with features like suicide doors and elevating roof sections. The electric platform with a 96 kWh battery pack can last for 285 miles and is brought to life by a single rear or dual-motor all-wheel drive powertrain powered by Bosch. The Hi-Fi has four-wheel steering, customizable matrix lighting system, 5G-ready vehicle-to-X communication system, and 562 sensors that, in theory, can provide level for autonomous driving. The interior gets a ridiculous 50-inch display, plus the passenger's experience will be personalized by the integrated AI system. Nissan 
BYT Han. The Warren Buffett-backed Chinese automaker extends the Han line beyond a plug-in hybrid modification. The solo electric midsize luxury sedan has a striking design with a bold front fascia, white grille, and dragon claw tail lights. Powering the front wheels of the base Han EV is a single 218 HP motor, while the all-wheel drive performance version gets an additional motor at the rear axle, increasing the total output to 487 ponies. This configuration takes less than 4 seconds to speed from 0 to 62 mph. The car's key argument, however, is the recently developed blade battery, which takes less space, copes with overheating better, and offers up to 244 miles. Inside the model comes with a huge 15.6-inch infotainment featuring Dialink 3.0 smart network system and voice control. There is also a host of driver assists, 11 airbags, 6 cameras, and multiple air purification filters. Smash the like button if you are ready to embrace electric cars of any country of origin. Each of your thumbs up makes the EV domination inevitable. Let's proceed. Neo ET7 After establishing a strong market position with a trio of electric SUVs, Neo is following up with a flagship executive sedan. Its design incorporates glass-leading dimensions, double-dash DRLs, integrated axe bar, 3D heartbeat rear lights, frameless windows, and soft-closing doors with flash handles that contribute to the 0.23 drag coefficient. The ET7 is underpinned by a dual-motor all-wheel drive setup, good for 3.9 seconds 0 to 60. It is comprised of a front permanent magnet unit with 245 horses and a rear asynchronous motor making 408. There are three battery sizes with the maximum range of 440 miles. The right serenity is ensured by the 4D dynamic control adaptive suspension and Neo Aquila Super Sensing Autonomy System. The cabin introduces Neo's second-generation digital cockpit, powered by the latest Qualcomm Snapdragon automotive cockpit platform. The interior elements get Napa leather or Caron Eratin upholstery, the air vents are invisible, Nomi Assistant even smarter, and the audio system gets 23 speakers. MG Cyberster Currently owned by the Chinese SAC Group, MG is often reprimanded for forgetting about its sports car roads. Today, the brand with a British heritage is trying to rehabilitate itself, and the first step in this direction is the MG Cyberster concept that harkens back to the MG's original roadsters. The model gets a long low silhouette with a swooping bonnet, pop-up headlights, and the LED light strip that runs the sides of the car. The taillights have Union Jack signatures, Plus, behind the passengers, there are supercar-style nasals. The cabin houses a gamepad-style steering wheel and a two-zero gravity seats that are separated by a flowing center console. Finally, the SMG gets an all-electric drivetrain with up to 395 miles and 3 seconds 0 to 60. The concept has already gained significant traction in China with 5,000 registrations, so MG is actually considering it for production. BYD EA1 This electric hatchback is a pioneer of BYD's next generation of smart electric vehicles, which will be based on the new 3.0 platform. The latter was developed to standardize the company's latest accomplishments, making the EA1 smaller, lighter, stronger, and more energy efficient. Already spotted without camouflage on the public roads in China, the EA1 adopts the brand's new logo and bodywork language. The new underpinnings provide the EA1 with a standard 800V battery system, which is claimed to juice the cells for over 80 miles of range in just 5 minutes. BYD claimed that their platform is capable of over 500 miles of pure electric range, but in this budget-oriented hatchback, we expect approximately 220 miles on a single charge. Finally, we should mention that this model is rumored to go on sale in Australia in 2022 under the name Dolphin. Xpeng P7 Dubbed the super long-range smart sedan, the P7 is the second production EV model by the Chinese startup Xiaopeng Motors. After being launched in mid-2020, the P7 continues to grow its fleet of owners, already exceeding 30,000 units. 
This year, the Fastback also expands its variety of trims and configurations by adding a new standard range model with a 60 kWh lithium phosphate battery, plus a new flagship wing limited edition that enhances the sporty feel of the saloon with a pair of scissor-style front doors. In total, it now offers three rear-wheel drive versions, plus a performance-focused four-wheel drive with two electric motors and an 81 kWh ternary lithium pack that is good for 312 miles. Each is offered in two to four equipment levels, the highlights of which are X-Smart operating system, X-Pilot level 3 self-driving tech, and an 18-speaker Dyna Audio concert hall level sound system. BYD Tank EV With this new ESUV, BYD targets the European market, so its exterior design is reminiscent of the models offered by the German manufacturers. The person responsible for the tank styling is the former Audi design director Wolfgang Acker. From the outside, the EV boasts a massive dragon mouth grille with chrome detailing, sleek LED headlights and 20-inch wheels. The crossover is equipped with either one or two electric motors with an output of 245 horsepower each, and it gets the signature blade battery with standard 86.4 kWh capacity. The latter will spin the wheels for nearly 222 miles. The interior comforts are adjusted to European standards, so the seven-seat tank comes equipped with brown leather upholstery, ventilated and heated front seats, and a massive rotatable 12.8-inch touchscreen. Geely Vision Starburst The privately held conglomerate Geely Holding Group Co. has gathered under its umbrella such well-known and rising brands as Valvo, Polestar, Zeker, Lincoln Co. and surely Geely Auto. The latter is responsible for the new concept that incorporates the future design vision derived from the expanding Cosmos philosophy. The Vision Starburst is inspired by the stellar phenomenon of emerging galaxies and represents a fusion of different ideas that will enrich the market. The major attractions of this creation are suicide scissor doors, expressive light bars that span across the entire width of the car, and a very modern cabin with heavy emphasis on human-vehicle interaction. There is no word about the model's powertrain, but judging by its looks and overall description, the Vision Starburst can be nothing else but an electric car. How would you rate the latest electric cars from China? Will we be seeing a different world in the near future, which is dominated by the Chinese EVs? Let's discuss this matter in the comment section and do not forget to mention your favorite model. Subscribe to UAT, smash the like button like you mean it, and proceed to watching informative videos about EVs by following the links on the screen. May the torque be with you!